be showing you how to get that beautiful silvery smoky summer look and just recently I've been going through some of the old Greek episodes on Netflix and I was reminded of how beautiful Spencer Grammer is to me and I just think that she's got the prettiest biggest doe eyes and she always had really pretty silvery tones on her eyes and even though it's a bit dated now I still think that look really applies to today a lot of people are using a lot of those silvery and almost kind of taupe like colors on their eyes especially during this season and so I thought why don't we try that out I've been getting a lot of requests for eye demos so I thought it's a good excuse to do that. Today I am trying out the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Airbrush Foundation and this is in Shell which is probably the lightest one they have there and I really like it. Um, it's a bit of a dewy finish. Uh, I think it was supposed to be more of like a satin finish which I kind of like. I, I like the way it came out with just one application of it but I actually did build on it. I did about two layers of it and I do really like it. I don't know that I would necessarily put it in the same category as like Makeup Forever HD or even the Smashbox, Smashbox camera ready, but um, I do like it. It's pretty good. And then on top of that, I also did a bit of concealing with Select Cover Up from MAC. So that's my palette. I've already got that ready and I've done my brows as well. Okay, so we're going to start out with our eyes and I actually don't even have any primer on or anything on my eyelids. I'm just going to use a matte shadow today. And basically, I want to start a nice base with this. I'm just going to use a flat brush. I'm going to pat it right on top of there. You notice I'm not brushing it on because whenever you do that with your eyeshadow, especially when you're using brushes, basically just get a, like a spray out of shadow all over your face, and especially on this end. And if you have already done your, your foundation, you really want to be careful that you're not ruining it all by just getting shadow all over it. So just get a good amount on your brush of the product and pat it right on top of there and you'll get a lot better application with it. So you'll notice I'm going right along the inside and all the way up to my uh, crease there. Alright, it's just a really nice and muted, kind of a gray tone. But it has a lot of beige in it as well, so it'll work really well being blended into my crease as sort of a nice transition between the eyelid color and my highlight color. Okay, and next I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to go right into that crease and I'm just going to blend it in so that there's no line. The biggest trick to making a smoky eye look pretty is to having a nice blended smoky eye. That's really the trick to it. There's not a whole lot to a smoky eye other than just having one, it's supposed to look like you have one solid color on your eyelid and that's a darker, deeper color that's going to bring out whatever eye color you have. But the only way it looks good is if it's blended and if it looks smooth. Otherwise you look like you just have two black eyes, you know. So that's all we've got so far is our base. Now I'm going to go ahead and go up here and do my highlight. I'm just going to use the other side of that flat brush. And I'm just going to kind of pat in a little bit of a highlight color right there. I'm going to bring it down and kind of blend it into that matte color we just did. Okay. And because the matte color I used is, it does have a lot of my skin tone in it. it you can already tell it kind of looks pretty natural of a transition. So I'm just going to go back over with my blending brush. Windshield wiper motions almost. I'm going to blend the two together. Okay, so now I'm set. I've got a base, at least, of what my eyeshadow is going to look like. Okay. Now I'm going to go on top of this with the color that's going to be my smoke out color. And this is a deep, smoky, almost kind of a pewter gray color. I'm basically just doing the same thing I did with the matte color. I'm just dabbing it right on top of my inner eyelid color, or inner eyelid, sorry. And you can kind of pile it up. You can sort of put as much as you want right there. And as you're patting it, you'll get more and more product to apply on there. Okay, just like that. And you notice I didn't go all the way up to the, the crease color. I really want to focus on having the most of that deeper pewter color on the inside, the lower part closest to my lashes. 
and I'm going to take my blending brush and kind of work together and blend those two together. Not all the way up to the crease. This is the crease right here. It's just right above, right before it touches the crease. Okay, so there's my shadows, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do on the top part. I'm going to really focus in now on getting a nice black line right along as close as I can to my eyelashes and maybe even underneath them. And just really smudge that in and also do the bottom. And then I'm going to use a shadow to sort of set that and also smoke it out a little bit more. smudges pretty easily from MAC, it's a smolder eyeliner, but if you set it with a powder, it pretty much, or an eyeshadow, it pretty much doesn't move, it won't budge, it'll stay in pretty good place for you. So that's what we're going to do. I like to use that for smoky eyes though because I can get a good smudging with it, which is really the look I like to have for a smoky eye anyway. And next I'm going to take that same darker pewter color that I used on my lower lids and I'm going to get an angle brush and I'm basically just going to smudge the two together with an angle brush. You can also use a pencil brush for this. I wish upon a star to dream with you instead cause I like the feel of dancing but I fancy whenever I am using my angle brush with this. I am brushing it right in, but the whole point of bringing the two colors together, the pewter and the eyeliner color, which is just black, is to really make them smudge smoothly together. So there's no holes or gaps between the lashes or anything. It's just all one uniform black eyeliner look. Next I'm going to make it a little bit more dramatic and I'm going to use almost a pearly iridescent white color. Vellum from MAC and I'm going to take that and I'm going to smudge just a little bit in that lower eyelid right on the inside of my eyelids it just gives it a little bit more of a dramatic look and brings in the blue that I have in my eyes it looked great with any eye color though. And this is awesome stuff um, the one side is for your primer and then the other is the actual mascara itself so I'm going to start off by using a primer. I'm just going to start at the base of the lashes and kind of wiggle it through so that it gets on each lash. And then you use the mascara. The reason why I really, really like this stuff is it gives the illusion almost to me that I have fake lashes on. It gets that really full, almost um, like they're more dense of eyelashes, which I really like that look. Most of the time I gravitate towards ones that are long or lengthening and give a nice clean lash, but this kind of clumps them up a bit together, but still brushes through each lash so they don't look like tarantula legs or anything. They, they give kind of a fuller effect, which with a smoky eye I feel is a better look. So now I'm going to go over that foundation that I've already had in place, and I've actually even concealed a little bit of darkness and acne spots that I had. And I'm just going to kind of set it now with a bit of a more mattifying loose powder. There's one thing I did notice about this foundation, the one other time that I've worn it, it wore really well, but after about, I'd say probably about four or five hours, I was a bit shinier than what I normally like. Okay, so this foundation that I'm wearing does have a little bit of more of illuminating factors in it. So my skin already kind of naturally has a bit of a glow to it. So I don't really want to focus too much on adding too much of a highlighter here on the cheekbones or above my eyebrows. So I'm just going to go over it with a nice mineral blush. 
You just give me a little bit of cheek color. And then for lips, I'm actually going to wear a bit of more of a baby pink. Um, in my last video, I did a pink as well, but I'm loving pink this season. Um, a lot of people are doing corals as well. I like coral, but a lot of my clothing and style, personal style, actually looks better with more cool tones. It's probably just my own preference because of my own personal coloring. But I just got one of these new Just Bitten lip balms from Revlon, and I love them. I think they're awesome. They actually stain the lips. So you get a little bit of a longer wear out of them. And I rub that in a little bit better. And I actually feel like I don't even have to set this with a gloss or anything. You can use a gloss if you want on top. But I'm just going to use a pencil to sort of line it out and give it a little bit more definition. I like the stars when they're shining. And there you have it. That is my smoky, silvery summertime look, and hopefully you like it. Please feel free to subscribe or leave any comments or questions that you might have regarding makeup or any of the products I use today, and thanks for watching. Darling, it's just you, I adore.